Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jiho from the Axie team. So a question that I've been getting asked a lot recently is how to actually quantify the strength of an NFT project and its community. So I think this is really important because obviously the space is growing really quickly and there's a lot of uh, kind of noise out there, right? So how do you actually get the right data, look at the right data to you know figure out whether a project is what they actually say they are and is in a good position to potentially succeed. So nothing that I say on this video should be construed as financial advice or a recommendation to do anything. Um, you know, just for simplicity, I'm going to use data related to Axie Infinity because I understand that data quite well and I don't wanna be seen as recommending some other project. So yeah, first, first, first off, you know, I think that Discord and Twitter are so key to both the community and how to amplify the message related to these NFT projects. So, you know, a great thing to do before you, you know, do anything else is to, you know, check out the Discord channel of a project, see how many uh, members they have, and then to actually join and check out uh, the activity, you know, how active is their chat? Are there people helping newcomers? And, you know, is, is it generally a friendly environment? Because if you're going to do well with NFTs, it's going to involve a lot of hanging out with people, meeting the right people and, uh, you know, becoming a member of the community. So, you know, make sure that, you know, the community that you're looking to join is actually a friendly, welcoming place. I'd also next take a look at the official Twitter. So, you know, how many followers do they have? You know, do they have a marketing style that kind of jives uh, well with, you know, what you're interested in? And um, so, yeah, you know, I think, tr you know, Twitter is so important for getting the word out about these NFT projects. And, you know, so also, you know, just make sure that, okay, they have a, a level of uh, followers or a number of followers that, you know, seems, uh, appropriate for, you know, the stage of the project as well. Next. So what I like to do is, you know, I like to go to DAP Radar. DAP Radar is, uh, is a really great source for all types of data related to uh, decentralized applications. So, you know, one thing that you can do is, you know, sort um, to see two things. One is on-chain active users, and you can sort that by the 24 hour, the seven day or the 30 day, as well as volume, right? And it's important to look at these two numbers in conjunction, right? So if we're looking at the top blockchain games across all protocols by the 24 hour, we see that Axie is actually number five. But if we take a closer look, we see that Axie has $90,000 in volume um, and these other four have zero volume. So that's kind of fishy, right? But you also see that these are on these other blockchains like EOS or Wax or Hive or Thundercore. And, you know, these blockchains don't have transaction fees for the most part. Um, so it can be very easy to spoof activity. So that's why it's important to, you know, take a look at the volume and then also, yeah, you know, go check out these projects and you know, see, you know, how, how many people do they have on Discord? How many people are following them on Twitter? Does it really kind of uh, match up with that level of traction? I'm not going to make any judgment um, in this video, but, you know, that's, that's one kind of framework to look at it through. Um, so you can also, yeah, you know, sort by protocol and sort by anything. So if we see that, okay, if we look at blockchain games on Ethereum, Axie is number one by quite a lot, right? But, and then we can even go to all categories and we see that, oh yeah, Axie is actually in the last 30 days, number six. And, and these are, you know, DeFi applications um, that are moving around like billions of dollars as well in some cases. So yeah, uh, DAP Radar, definitely a really uh, great source. And you can see here on the 24 hour, we're actually number four. Okay, so the next uh, the next uh, data source that I like to use is something called Bloxy.info. It's actually not really that popular for some reason, but I find that it has a lot of really interesting data that you might not find um, in other places. So one thing that I like to do is uh, you know go to holders. So I got to this page just by searching uh, for the Axie token, 
and in their website. And so you can see the, the holders here and take note that this is actually the marketplace contract. Um, so you basically can see the holders and how many uh, axes each address is holding. So you can see that, you know, actually there's a, there's quite a nice distribution of axes and uh, within the community. You can also see here, okay, this blue line is number of token holders. And this, uh, this red is the circulating supply of axes. Um, so you can see that, you know, for a lot of axes history, user growth was, you know, kind of growing steadily, but pretty slowly while the population increased. And then all of a sudden, kind of around July of last year, the, we started to go into this kind of parabolic growth phase that's continued um, for a while since, since then. So yeah, this is a really interesting site. Um, it also shows things like the Gini coefficient, which basically is kind of like a measure of decentralization in terms of ownership within the within the ecosystem. So yeah, this has a lot of data that um, is really interesting, and, and for some reason, yeah, a lot of other sites don't track it. Another great site is nonfungible.com. They actually just released a, a yearly report for 2020, and they separated out the NFT space by different industries. So yeah, you know, definitely take a look at that report. It's highly recommended. It has great data and it is free. So yeah, there are some data sets that will not be on chain and you might actually have to ask the team to share or the team might proactively share it. So this is our game analytics dashboard. This is something that, you know, only I kind of or only team members or from Sky Mavis have act direct access to, but it is something that I like to share on social media. And so this shows that, you know, yesterday we had just over 19,000 uh, daily active users across all of the different uh, Unity applications for our card battle system. So yeah, I think transparency is really important. There are some data sets that are not publicly accessible. Um, but yeah, you, you know, you might be able to ask the team or prod them to kind of uh, share that data with you. Another thing that I like to look at is Alexa ranking. Um, so this will show is like, okay, is this, uh, you know, is this, is this uh, website actually getting serious uh, web traffic? And um, so, yeah, that's you know, definitely something, uh, it's kind of a, a, you know, another level of verification, right? Because some projects, especially if they're on an, basically a very cheap and fast blockchain, they can just spam transactions to spoof, you know, high user numbers. So it really is important to actually check these other, other types of data sets. Another thing that I like to look at is a uh, similar web. So that you, you'll be able to see basically the traffic overview for the web, for the site, like how many people are visiting this, the website each month. So this is actually only tracking through January 2021. If you're using a free version, it's going to always be, I believe, one month uh, lagging. And so I think that we're obviously we're going to make an all time high in February for Axie. And you can see the country distribution. And you can also see like the flow of, OK, how are people finding out about this? Um, which what are the top referring sites? And, um, you know, what are the keywords that are hot for this? And also, yeah, for, in terms of social uh, referrals or like how people are finding out about it through social networks, where are those coming from? I think interestingly for Axie, it's a lot of YouTube, right? So it means that Axie is very visual. There are content creators sharing it, uh, making videos about it and introducing the world to Axie. So yeah, this is uh, kind of, you know, how I, how I look at things. You can also, you know, see if there are any custom uh, data sets or custom data tracking websites. Um, so for Axie, there are two that are really popular. One is uh, Nansen and has built its own Axie dashboard. And there's also Axie World. So Axie World uh, also has a lot of really amazing charts related to the Axie economy. Um, but yeah, not every NFT project is going to have uh, 
something like this. But that's also another thing, right? Is like, are the community develop? Are there actually developers in the community that are building useful tools? That's also, you know, another great indicator that you know this project has legs and has uh, inspired a lot of people. So. Yeah, you know, I think this is kind of a, you know, an overview. This is at least a framework uh, to use when you're appraising NFT projects. You know, I try to be very data oriented. And, and I think that, you know, there's, it's really important to kind of look at numbers when, you know, you're dealing with digital collectibles, an entirely new paradigm where people can get very excited and uh, potentially make some risky decisions. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this and hope it was helpful. And you can always find me on Axie Discord if you want to chat.